Mama Cat? George? Hello, my fellow sniffers. I'm Marley McCohen, and this is Cody, my African Grey. Cody is getting some head scratches right now because if I don't give him a lot of love and attention and head scratches, which I'm really happy that he's accepting right now, he's just gonna wanna jump on my head. And I don't actually think that my hair is conducive to parrot head jumping right now. So I'm pretty happy that he's busy doing this. Let's see how long it lasts. Also, I have in my room today, my dogs, Sandy, you wanna say hi? I have Sandy and I have Harry and I've learned from every single video that I've done with these dogs in the room that I can never find Harry, but I'm guessing he's right about there because the light just blinds me and I can never see him. Here's a funny thing about the dogs. Once they realize that I make videos in here, every time I come in here to do a video, they run in now and plant themselves on the bed. The reason is because in my bedroom, they're not allowed on my bed, but in this room, they are. So they're pretty excited to be able to be in the room with me on the bed. So they run in here for some company and to hang out and I love it because now, they've become a huge part of my videos. Which reminds me, let me know in the comments if you love dogs and wanna hear some dog stories. You guys are getting to know my dogs now because happened. You know, Cody, are you jealous because I have the doggy here? Sandy came here and now Cody is jealous. We're gonna do something really exciting and cute today. Hey guys. Making a video here. Making a video. Do you care? So that's them. What are you doing? So we're gonna do something really fun today, which I'm really excited about. I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna move the camera up just so you guys can see it because I, I know exactly what's gonna happen. Because I'm getting like this eye from Cody. I'm a little worried that he's gonna actually fly and land on my head. What is wrong with my dogs? I was so excited to have you guys in the video. What is this? You guys are embarrassing me. Hey, you're making it look like... Like I only know how to handle birds and you're making it look like I don't know how to handle birds at all. Welcome to my life. Okay. Okay, okay, we can work with this. We've worked with crazier things before. <laughs> no, we haven't. What are you guys doing? Never mind. Remember when I mentioned dog videos? Not gonna happen. What is this? What is this, guys? What kind of behavior is this? Okay? What kind of behavior is this? You are on camera. Do you want to embarrass yourself in front of the camera? I didn't think so. Okay, a standoff. So now you know why they don't sleep in my bed. Now, what are you doing? I can't even, I can't even, I can't even. Okay, this is a mess of a video. I have some good news for you guys. Parrot Station, my Facebook group, for parrot lovers or parrot appreciators or parrot stalkers or parrot sniffers is approaching 30,000 members. I told you guys this before. I've been part of groups on Facebook for a long time and I always kind of dreamed of having my own parrot Facebook group, but I had no idea how it was gonna happen. And then of course, when it does happen, I forget that I had wanted that and then it happens and you're like, whoa. Things that you wish for really do happen. So it's kind of amazing. And because we are hitting a huge number, we're going to do something special today. And a lot of you know about it and know what it is. But now, as promised, let's do our Instagram feature of the day. This is our engaged, not caged bird that I love to choose every Sunday. Who is our engaged, not caged feature bird? Not one but two beautiful lovebirds named Love and Hip Hop. How cute are these birds? Two little yellow birds. They're apparently pretty fly and do pretty fly things. 
Love and Hip Hop Brooklyn is the name of the account. You guys have got to go follow these cute little birds. They're adorable, bright, beautiful, and they do really cute things together. As you can see, support Love and Hip Hop. We gotta support the birds, right? Because everybody's following the dogs and the hedgehogs and the bunnies and the snakes, I think. I'm sure there are people following some snake. Is there like an Instagram snake that's famous? I have no idea. You know what I just realized? Someone brought this up in class. I did not come up with that myself. Somebody said there's no famous snake. If you guys know of a famous snake, let me know because I'd love to know. Anyway, check out Love and Hip Hop. I will put the link below. You won't regret it. They are beautiful, beautiful birds. You know what? I forgot to welcome you to Parent Tip Tuesday. You know what I feel like? I feel like I start these videos and I have a really good handle on things and I'm scratching Cody's head and my dogs are sitting there and I'm like, this is gonna be a breeze. And then like three to four minutes in, I start losing control. Behind me, I have no idea. Ah! They're crazy. My birds are insane. I thought one bird, this should be really easy. Did you just laugh? You laughed? Yeah, you love? Okay, that's nice. That's nice. You're just making a mockery of mommy. Let's talk about today's video. Parent Tip Tuesday, which I think I forgot to say, but today is Parent Tip Tuesday. And I thought for this video, what we would do is go over some parrot lingo. When I went to Parrot Station to ask you guys some of your favorite parrot lingo, we got into a discussion on burb versus borb. That since we are... Oh, okay. Just land right there. Let's just, I mean, I don't even know what I can do. I'm going to Instagram you right now. Guys, I am making a video for you right now, okay? For those of you who tune in, and this guy is already, I can't even see you, making a spectacle of himself. I don't know how else to share. What are you, There's one bird and two dogs in here. Uh, in a nutshell, I gotta say this fast. We have hit 30,000 members on Instagram. We started discussing burb verse borb. And I felt like it would be really fun to enlighten you guys on some parrot terminology. However, I got really stuck on the word burb and the word borb. And I thought to myself, we should have a better clarification on what a burb is versus what is a borb. Because I'm not the type that can just accept things. I have to find like the origin of something. So let me tell you about burb. I'm just gonna let this happen. I don't even know what to do. I found a definition of burb. It's kind of like an origin. And what it says is that burb is a bird that is exceptionally cute and humorous. Well, all birds are cute and humorous, so that's nice. Okay, so every bird is basically a burb. Awesome. And if you put a really cute picture, then you have now a burb. And if your bird is doing something really funny, then he is definitely a burb. And the first known use of the word burb was actually tweeted on my best friend's birthday, which she will love. November 17th, it's coming up. You guys probably know Tracy by the Twitter account called Birds rights activists. They just tweeted burb and it became a thing. Imagine having a Twitter account where it just becomes a thing. So now we know what a burb is. Anybody's bird can be a burb. You can call your bird burb. This is a burb. In between all the comments and responses about demons and dinosaurs and terrorists and terrorizers, which I do not disagree with, as you guys can imagine, I got the word borb. You probably heard the word borb. A borb is just a fat burb, okay? Like a big round fat burb. So if you have a picture of your bird in an orb or sphere, you now have a borb. So after going over this, all I can do is look at my birds and be like, burb, borb, burb, borb, however they're sitting. So Jersey's like this, borb, she's like this, burb. It's kind of funny. But here's the most exciting part. I thought it would be a really cute idea 
for you guys to share your burb versus borb photos. Any bird can be both a burb and a borb. So I asked you guys to share your photos of your birds as burbs and as borbs. Here we go, I have a montage of all of the parrot station birds that have been submitted to me. So I wanted to thank you guys for making parrot station amazing. So I wanted to make this video about you and your birds. Ah! I mean, I'm doing my best to make it about you and your birds. Now this guy kind of steals the show. These two had their moment, but now on to your babies. And write in the comments which bird is your favorite because all of their names are there. So take a look at all the burbs and all the borbs and let me know which bird you think nailed it. And also, which bird is the fattest borb? Because let's be honest, if we're going to post all of these, I want to find the fattest borb possible. Like really, the orb borb. I wanna know who has the fattest borb ability in your opinion. And I wanna give a shout out to one bird picture, Martin. Martin is a beautiful cockatiel that made an amazing borb. He died this month. And I just want Martin to be remembered because his picture is amazing and beautiful. And I just thought that maybe we should remember Martin. So you'll probably agree that Martin has a really nice borb body. And without further ado, here are our bird, burb, borb photos. <laughs> now it's time. our light and what I've learned from what I see it's love spread the I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being a part of Parrot Station. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope I gave you some clarification. Please check out my link below of products I love. This will help you a lot if you're a new bird owner or just want some more info on birds or just wanna stock the products that I love for my bird. I put in some cool descriptions of what I use the products for. See everything that we all buy for our birdies. I'm taking the work out of parenting. Check it out. Please like, subscribe, comment, join Parrot Stage because I have some new ideas for featuring your parrots because I think it's really exciting. So come on in and join Parrot Station so that I can see you. Follow me on Instagram at Marlene McCohen. Watch my story with all of these birds. A lot of you guys are watching these guys all day. So you know what I deal with? Do you know what I deal with now? Do you guys understand? Let me know if you've been watching my videos and sympathize with me at all. Or maybe you're just like, my dream, five birdies and two dogs, yay! I also have a duck, by the way. If you wanna be featured on Engaged Not Caged, you know what to do. Hashtag Engaged Not Caged. Tag Marlene McCohen. That is it, guys. 
I love you so much. Oh my God, there's like holes in my sweater. What the heck? Ignore. I don't know what else to say. Bye.